Hi everyone, happy Saturday. Thank you all for joining RDC 61 people. Oh, I'm so excited to flow with all of you today and hopefully sweat, most likely. I uh, hope you're having a great start to your day. For some of you on the East Coast, it's already three o'clock, so you hope you're enjoying your Saturday. Um, my name is Beth O'Reilly. I live in San Diego, and I've had the honor of being a part of the Core Power family for over 13 years now. And I'm so grat grateful to just uh, really share with you my passion. And I'm so grateful. Hi, London. Uh, really share with you my passion. And I'm so grateful. Hi, London. Hi, Steph. 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 How's that? Hi, Sarah. Thanks for joining. Hey, Beth. Slide up. Hi, Nancy. Hey, Beth. Slide up to down. I did that. Fixed. Cool. Yay. In the flow. Always in the flow. <laughs> Learning every day. 
Hi, Jesse. Thanks so much for being here. Hi, Sarah. Better? I'm going to add a little music and I'd love feedback too, team. Hi, Linz. Thanks for being here, love. Grace. Hi, Maureen on the East Coast representing. Luciana, I love you, girl. Hi, Hope. Thanks for being here, everybody. Ah, oh, all the love. All right, I think we worked the technical difficulties out for now. And once again, my name is Beth O'Reilly. I'm here to flow with you today on this beautiful Saturday afternoon. And I've been reflecting on how I'm still in the flow just during just a different pace of life and different things going on. And uh, I'd love for you to chime into the chat. Um, just to think of the question, what brings you into the state of flow right now? For me personally, going on a nice long walk every morning, that's my commitment. Hi, Cherie. Um, I also, people that know me, it's they think it's funny, but I do really enjoy love, I do enjoy cleaning. <laughs> I'm in the flow and I'm cleaning and cooking, um, just taking care of my house, my family. Hi, Ryan. Um, so I'd love to hear what brings you into the state of flow right now uh, when life is different, it feels a little upside down at times. Um, I'd love for you to chat in. Hi, Danny. Good to see you. Hi, Leslie and Kathy. Thanks for being here. Hi, Kai. A yoga meditation. Thanks, Nicole. Brings me back to home. Thanks for joining, Nicole. State of the flow. Community with this live stream. Hi, Min Sun. Thank you. Washing clothes. That's that's great. Painting, journaling, long walks. Reading brings me into the flow. I love it. Hi, Ava. So excited to practice with all of you. Listening to music brings you in the flow, London. I love that. Nico, in the flow, nice. John Hanley, hi, John. John was the officiant at my, at my wedding. Such a dear soul brother friend. Thanks for joining. Hi, Alicia, getting to my mat. Excited for class, thank you. Hi, everyone, so nice to see you all. We'll get started in just a couple of minutes. And I just said, ask the question, what brings you into the state of flow right now? Life is a little bit or a lot different for, for all of us right now. So, um, and that's really what we'll lean into today is leaning into our flow with our breath on our mat this afternoon and giving ourselves the permission, if you will, to let go, even if it's just this next 75 minutes and also just reflecting on what, what does bring you in the flow, whether it's your yoga practice, See a lot of cooking, walking, dancing. Yes, Sasha, thank you so much. Gymnastics. Laying on the ground. Nice. <laughs> Thanks for all the awesome shares, everyone. Taking class. Yes, Ryan being in the sun. Of course, Ryan Marks representing Los Angeles Core Power Yoga. Hi from Minneapolis. Hi, Erica. It was Erica's birthday last yesterday. Happy birthday, Erica. Meditation, bootcraft. Ooh, very good. That'll bring me in the flow too. <laughs> Hello from Colorado. Practicing with all of these amazing humans. Thank you, Jesse. And you are an amazing human. We're so beyond grateful for you. All that you do to serve core power in our communities. Making playlists. Ooh, nice. I'll have to check you out, Hope. I always love your music. Hope Goodman, amazing instructor in Los Angeles. London, hi, Jesse. Everyone's saying hi to each other. Daily runs outside. Nice, Danny. That's what I'm thinking. I need to maybe pick it up sometime in the next couple of weeks or so, shifting the walk to maybe a jog, walk, jog, run. Um, wonderful team. Well, it is 12 o'clock on the dot. We'll start just maybe in a couple of more minutes as people are coming in. Thank you for clicking on the like button. Um, and thank you for choosing to be here. Juicing, nice, Sarah. That's not something that I've done yet. And thank you for being here. Hi, Ashley. Walking your dogs, I love it. Hello from Boston. 
Aw, thanks, Michelle. Another one of my favorite teachers in LA. She says, cheering me on. She's so sweet, phenomenal teacher. Hi, Chelsea, happy Saturday. Thanks for being here. Hi, Ali from Hawaii, aloha. Laura, hi, so excited, thank you. So fun, everyone. Hi, Trisha, good to see you on the chat. Looking forward to flowing with you as well. Our Peloton, nice. I was thinking about one of those and then I just thought maybe in the future. <laughs> For now, I'm loving my yoga, um, whether it's live stream or on demand in the long walks. Hi, Dana. Thanks for being here. Dana is one of my regular students from Point Loma. Love her. She's been practicing with me for over 10 years, probably. Hi from Denver. Thank you, everyone. Thanks for all of your awesome comments. Thanks for choosing to show up on your mat this afternoon and be with me first live stream. Again, my name is Beth. Um, and one, one more uh, time, I wanted just to offer the question, what brings you into the state of flow right now when things are different? Hi, Heidi. Heidi's one of my dear friends and mentors. I've known her for many, many years. Thanks for being here. With that said, let's get started. I'm gonna change the music. And if you wanted to start in a comfortable seat, um, that's how we'll start today. You're welcome to come to a kneeling position. You're also welcome to um, sit cross-legged, anything that's comfortable. Just start the music and get some feedback. Hi, Marcus. Love you. Hi, Christy. Hi, Noel. All right, I'll check on the volume um, after we get started. And London, if you wouldn't mind, sounds great. Oh, thank you, read my mind. All right, team. So come to a comfortable seat, kneeling, um, or cross-legged, and just take a moment to ground your palms down if you need a little energy this morning. Up, whatever feels best. Roll your shoulders onto your back. going with the flow right now. All right. Looks like we lost internet or Wi-Fi or something, but we're back on. So thanks for hanging in there with me. <laughs> thanks, everybody. Hi, Renee. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. find our music again. I'm not sure where we cut out, but we'll meet in a high plank position and it keeps going black. High plank. 
it. Dandasana, top of push up. Press down through your palms and activate your quadriceps. And then broaden through your collarbones to find length through your spine. Take a full breath in. With your exhale, hover your knees just a millimeter above your mat. Turn on your entire 360 core. Press your shoulder. Sorry, Bob. Sorry, Bob. Let's check. Take three. Thanks for hanging in there, team. <gasps> All right. I hope you're still in high plank. <laughs> All right, team. From forward full ragdoll, let's all meet in ragdoll if you're not already there. Keep the distance of your feet hip distance apart. Place your left hand in front of you, right hand to your sacrum. Inhale, halfway lift your spine. With your exhale, twist and rotate over to your right. Draw your shoulder blades on your back. You're welcome to extend your right arm long or find a half bone, half bind with your arm. Stretch long through the crown of your head. Pull your low belly in. Take a full breath in. Exhale, release other side. Right hand down to the earth. Halfway lift. Left hand to your sacrum. Bend into your right knee and work to stretch your left leg long. Keep your left palm as it is or stretch your left arm high or even a half bind. Full inhale, stretch the crown of your head and your tailbone in opposite directions. Find some length. Use your exhalation to twist. Find release, breathe in. Exhale, release, forward fold. Shake it out. And then bring your feet together or hip distance apart. Soft bend your knees, inhale, roll up one bone at a time to stand. Roll your shoulders onto your back and then bring your hands either to your heart or down by your side. Today, let's choose to be in the flow and let go. A wonderful opportunity for me to be practicing that for all of us today. Celebrate being on our mat. Inhale, I choose. Exhale to be in the flow and let go. Take one more grounding breath. Breathe in. One more grounding breath. Exhale. Release your arms down by your side. Inhale, mountain pose, tadasana. Good. Find your breath. Stabilize down as you push through your feet and fire up your core and thigh muscles. Grab onto your left wrist. Inhale. Exhale, side body stretch over to your right. Right away, come to center, switch. Inhale. Exhale, side body stretch left. Inhale, rise, mountain pose. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Relax your head down. Together, breathe in, halfway lift, stretch the crown of your head forward. Exhale, low lunge, bring your palms down, step your left foot way back. Soften to your back knee, untuck your toes, and then find the low lunge with a long spine. And then from low lunge, we'll take this out when we flow, come into half splits a couple of times, and then back into low lunge, opening through your hip flexors and your hamstrings. Take it at your own pace, nice and slow. And then meet me in crescent moon. Take a full breath in. And then ground yourself with your exhale as you press your front foot and back knee down and in to activate your pelvic floor. Breathe in. Exhale, pyramid pose. Place your hands down, lift your hips up. Good, breathe well, draw your right hip back. Doesn't matter if your front knee is bent or all the way straight or even if your back heel is touching or not. Round over your front leg and feel and experience the stretch and flow through your right hamstrings. One more breath in. Good, round over your leg, exhale. Inhale, single leg plank. Plant your palms, step or float your right heel back. Good, flex your toes down. Find a strong, powerful breath as you press all fingertips into your mat. Breathe in. Exhale, tap your right knee toward your outer right shoulder or tricep. Hold here for four. Good, feel your obliques and core light up. Last two. Together, inhale, high plank, rock forward. Exhale, lower all the way down to your belly. Untuck your toes, inhale, cobra pose. Slide your palms back. 
energetically as you pull your heart forward. Lengthen through the crown of your head and press your feet firmly into your mat to turn on the back line of your body. Together, inhale. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, high plank or tabletop. Exhale, hips high, downward facing dog. Breathe in, look ahead. Exhale, step forward, full top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise, mountain pose, other side. Grab your right wrist, flow to the left. Exhale, side bend. Inhale to center. Exhale, switch. Inhale, mountain pose, reach up, look up. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana, long back. Exhale, right foot back, big step, low lunge. Uncurl your toes, climb your palms onto your front thigh. Roll your shoulders onto your back, feel that nice stretch through your hips. And then move in and out of half splits. We'll take this out in the flow, but just an opportunity to open up. Go at your own pace, no rush. And then meet me in crescent moon, breathe in. Press firmly through everything that's touching your mat and squeeze it into the midline of your body you can find stability. One more breath, get long. Exhale, pyramid pose. Bring your palms down, lift your hips up nice and high. Root down through the big toe mound of your left foot and then pull your left hip crease back and that'll help stabilize your pelvis. Round over your front leg and feel that nice spacious stretch along your hamstrings. One more full breath, inhale. Round and stretch, exhale. Look ahead, go through your low lunge. Inhale, single leg plank, drive your heel back as you pull your chest forward. One more breath in. Exhale, tap left knee towards your left tricep. Good. Feel that strong, powerful, powerful core strength here already warming up. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, lower all the way to your belly. Untuck your toes. Inhale, cobra pose. Exhale, lower down. Nice work, everyone. Inhale, high plank or tabletop. Exhale, downward facing dog. That's our sun A. We'll flow one more time, side to side, breath to movement. Get in your flow. Breathe in, look up. Exhale, forward fold, top of your back. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain pose, reach up. Grab your left wrist. Exhale, side body stretch to your right. Come to center, inhale. Take it to the left, exhale. Breathe in, reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Step your left foot back, exhale, lunge. Left knee down, we rise, inhale, crescent move. Exhale, pyramid pose, lift your hips, straighten your legs. Inhale, single leg plank, adding on. Exhale, tap, knee to your tricep. In, out, in, out, in. Breathe in, pull it out. Good, inhale, exhale, keep going. Drive your heel back to turn on your glutes and your hamstrings. And as you pull your knee in, fire up your core strength. Nice work, everybody, you've got it. Last four, three, high plank in two. Here we go, high plank. On one, inhale, rock forward. This time, exhale, mid plank, chaturanga. Untuck your toes, inhale as cobra or upward facing dog. You choose, up dog, push down through your fingertips. Draw your hips forward, pull the crown of your head up, breathe in. Exhale, downward facing dog. One breath in, full breath out. Inhale, look up. Exhale, step or maybe float. Try it on top of the mat. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, last on A, mountain pose. Grab your right wrist. Exhale, sway left. Come to center, breathe in. Exhale, to the right. Inhale, mountain. Ah, exhale, fold forward. Getting warm, inhale, halfway. Step your right foot back, exhale, lunge. You've got this inhale rise, crescent moon. Exhale, pyramid pose, lift your hips, stretch. Inhale, single leg plank, and we pull it. In, out, in, 
out. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Keep going. Use your breath. Drive your heel back. Feel your glutes and hamstrings turn on. And as you pull your knee into your tricep, feel your obliques light up. Four, three, two, high plank on one. Inhale, rock forward. Exhale, mid plank. Inhale, up dog, cobra, or you can even press up to high plank. That's one of my favorites. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a couple of breaths in down dog. Nice work team. Thanks for sticking in and going with the flow with me today. So grateful for all of you. Gonna move on to Surya Namaskar B, Sun B. Take an inhale. Slow breath out, exhale. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, come up top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, bend your legs. Inhale, chair pose, Utkatasana. Breathe here. Bring your weight into your heels. Sit your inner thighs together to turn on your pelvic floor. Place your hands to prayer, full breath in. We'll call this hovering prayer twist. So twist and corkscrew your spine towards your right, enough to where you feel your internal and external obliques turn on, but we're not using the momentum of the hook just yet. Press your palms together, drag your heart up towards your thumbs. Nice work, I know you're working hard. Inhale, single leg back pose, lift your left leg high. Stabilize through your right leg, find your focus in your breath. You're always welcome to find a micro bend in your right leg. Breathe in. Exhale, figure four. Cross your ankle over your thigh. Draw your chest forward. Flex all the five of your left toes to protect your knee. Inhale, single leg mountain option. Kick your heel forward. Exhale, crescent with airplane arms. Land lightly. Inhale, warrior two. Carve your arms open. Find your heel to arch alignment. And turn on your outer right glutes to stack your knee over your ankle. Breathe in, reach right. Exhale, side ankle pose. Swing your left arm forward. And as you roll your left hip slightly down and right hip back, twist your sternum and torso open. Inhale, rise, star pose, parallel your feet. Exhale, lateral lunge. Bend it to your left leg. Hands come into prayer. Feel the stretch on your right inner thigh. Inhale, star. Exhale, warrior two, adjust your feet. Keep your lungs, breathe in, reverse warrior. And take a few extra spacious breaths here. Be in the flow and the strength with your warrior legs. Reach long through your right fingers, inhale. Exhale, low lunge, plant your palms, square your hips. Inhale, standing L. That's from my Minnesota and Chicago, Chicago piece. I think they call it standing up. Pull your left hip, right hip back. Drive your left heel out, just like you did in single leg plank. One more breath in. Exhale, Shiva squat just one time. And feel, as you bend deeply into your right leg, your outer right hips and glutes get very strong. Inhale, standing out. Exhale, forward fold. Bend your legs, here we go. Inhale, chair pose. Right away, exhale, hovering prayer twist over towards your left side. So bring your knees back. Squeeze your legs together and just work your sternum up towards your thumbs. Feel the hover as you turn on your internal, external obliques. Through center, inhale, single leg mountain. Pull your right leg up. So you're standing on your left leg, right leg is up. Exhale, figure four, press your palms together. Flex your toes back, pull your sternum and heart forward. Feel that nice, strong stretch through your outer right hip and glute. Inhale, single leg mountain. Option to kick your heel forward. Exhale, crescent, airplane arms. Slowly land to the ball of your back foot. Pull your front hip points towards your low ribs and that will stabilize and turn on your transverse abdominal muscles. Inhale, or actually warrior two, open up. Find your footing, bring your gaze wherever it's comfortable, right? Bring your shoulders down onto your back. Press your feet down into your mat and then drag them energetically into the midline so you feel your inner thighs come into this pose as well. Breathe in, reach forward. Exhale, extended side angle. Sweep your right arm over your head. Find that slight twist in your torso. Again, roll your front, your top hip slightly down. Pull your back, your left hip crease slightly back. Feel that spaciousness in your sacrum. 
and then we rise. Inhale, star. Exhale, hands to heart, lateral lunge. Pull your hips way back and draw your chest forward. As you press your palms firmly in towards your heart, feel your strength of your muscles around your arms and chest. Inhale, star. Exhale, warrior two, readjust your feet. Inhale, reverse warrior. Reach up, up, up with your left arm as you dive into your front knee. One more breath, inhale. Exhale, low lunge, square your hip first, and then launch up, inhale, standing L. Drive your heel high, pull your left hip back, think halfway lift through your spine. Full breath, inhale. Exhale, Shiva squat, just one time. Bring your weight a little bit more into your standing heel. That will help you to balance and stabilize. Inhale, standing L. Exhale, fold forward. Here we go, Jenny Dreesen. Inhale, chair pose, let's flow. Exhale, hovering prayer twist right. Through center, inhale, single leg. Exhale, figure four, push into your palms. Inhale, single leg, kick it up. Exhale, crescent with airplane arms, land low. Inhale, warrior two, adjust your feet. Exhale, side angle pose, reach and slightly twist. Get big, inhale, star. Exhale, lateral lunge, bend your back knee. Inhale, rise. Exhale, warrior two. Take it back, inhale, reverse. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, standing L. One time, exhale, Shiva squat, long spine. Inhale, standing L. Exhale, fold forward, bend your knees. Right again, inhale, chair. Exhale, hovering prayer twist, left. Through center, inhale, right leg up. Exhale, figure four, stretch. Breathe in, single leg mountain, kick your heel up. Exhale, crescent with airplane arms. Inhale, carve open, warrior two. Exhale, side angle pose. Inhale, rise, star. Exhale, lateral lunge. Get big, star pose. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, standing L. Exhale, Shiva squat. Inhale, standing L. Exhale, fold forward. Right again, inhale, chair pose. Let that on. Exhale, full prayer twist to your right. Hook your left elbow to your outer right knee or thigh. Squeeze your legs together. Find stability through your lower body. And use that to leverage and curl your heart up towards your thumbs in the sky. Squeeze your shoulder blades away from your ears and twist. Stay in the fire. Stay in the flow. You've got this. Breathe well. Feel the burn and shake through your quadriceps and core. I am in it with you. I feel it. Four, yes, three, back in the flow, two, here we go, one, through center, inhale, single leg mountain pose, lift your left leg, exhale, figure four. Now you have options, I'm going to turn just slightly to the side, you're welcome to stay in figure four, Take your fingertips out with a water bottle out in front of you, grab your ankle, or bring your right hand to your hip, left hand to your left knee, I think of this as like standing half happy baby. We'll be doing this on our back here shortly. Roll your shoulders on your back. Pull up through the crown of your head. Stay here. If you have standing extended big toe B, grab onto your big toe of your peace fingers. Extend your leg out, perhaps your right arm out. Bring your gaze where it helps you to find your flow. Let go of what the pose looks like, right? You're in your house. Who cares? Roll your shoulders onto your back. Breathe. Good, re-bend your knee if you're fully extended. Come back through center. Inhale, single leg mountain. Exhale, crescent airplane arms. Open up, inhale, warrior two. Exhale, side angle pose. Inhale, star. This time, option for lateral lunge or point your toes out to the side, skandasana. Draw your right toes skyward, bend into your left knee. You can place your hands out in front of you. Find something to prop up, or even bring your hands to prayer. Drag your front, your extended leg, your right heel down, and then pull it in towards the midline so you're getting long and strong on your right inner thighs. So we always want to feel the stretch in the belly of the muscle. Lengthen up through the crown of your head, whatever variation you've chosen. Breathe in. 
Exhale, wide leg forward fold as a transition. Parallel your feet, lift your hips up, straighten your legs. Hands to hips, inhale, rise up to stand. T out your arms, exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, standing L. Exhale, Shiva squat. Adding on, inhale, standing L. Exhale, seated twist, come all the way down. Have a seat. You're welcome to extend your left leg out if that's helpful for you. Roll your shoulders on your back, and then hug your right knee in with your left arm. Place your right hand behind you to lengthen as much as you can through your spine. Breathe in, and then exhale, twist. You're welcome to remain here or seated dancing Shiva variation. Grab the knife edge of your right foot with your left hand, and extend your leg out. Option to float your floating arm. Draw your shoulder blades together. And then smile through your collarbones, maybe even your face this morning. Breathe in. Exhale, counter twist. Bring your foot down. Take a little twist over to the left. <clears throat> and then inhale, both pose Navasana. And then cross your right ankle over your left. So a variation. You're welcome to bring your hands behind you, hands onto your thighs, or bring your arms out in front of you. Stay here. We're going to flow just a couple of times from low boat to high boat. Here we go. Nice and slow. Lower for two. Lift for two. Lower for two. Lift. Use your breath. Inhale. You've got it. Exhale. Again. Inhale. Exhale. Two more. One. And lift. One more time. Inhale. And hold right here. Click your feet together so you feel your outer hips and inner thighs get so strong. Pull your chest forward, just four, three, reverse tabletop in two, and one. Uncross your ankles, ground your feet, bring your hands behind you, inhale. Should feel good, reverse tabletop. Squeeze your shoulder blades together, lift your hips as high as you can. And then press your feet down, pull them in towards your fingertips, turn on your glutes, breathe in. Exhale, lower down, meet me in down dog, cross your ankles, plant your palms. You're welcome to take a full vinyasa or downward facing dog. Take a couple of breaths here. Check in on how everyone's doing. Nice work team. Thanks, Nicole. All right, let's balance it out, everybody. Breathe in, look forward. Exhale, come up, top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold, bend your legs. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, full prayer twist. Now to your left, hook your right elbow over towards your left, good. And as you draw your elbow into your thigh, your thigh into your elbow, think everything hugs in really strong so you find more freedom and flow through your spine, especially your heart. Along with your breath, let everything else go. You've got it for three, single leg and two, one. Inhale, right leg high, single leg mountain pose. Lift your right leg up. Exhale, figure four. Now, you have options just like the first side. You can bring your hands to your shin, half ankle, or all the way down. Or bring your right hand to your right knee, left hand to your hip. <clears throat> Roll your shoulders. So, think mountain pose on your standing left leg. Drill down through the three pillars under your left foot. That will help you stabilize. And team, you can bend your standing knee. That actually helps you to activate all of the muscles and find better balance. Grab your big toe and extend it out. The wall's in my way, so I'm gonna just modify, bring my left arm up, bring it out in front, or keep it on your hip. Roll your outer right hip down, and then pack your outer left hip in to get even longer on your spine. Rebend your right leg, come to center. Inhale, single leg mountain. Exhale, crescent, airplane arms. Open up, inhale, warrior two. Exhale, extended side angle. Get big, inhale, star pose. Exhale, lateral lunge, or all the way into your skandasana once again. Hands to prayer, you bring your hands down, whatever feels best, everyone. If you're feeling any tension underneath your knee, find a micro bend in your knee, that'll help to activate more of the muscle. 
drag your left heel into the midline. So you're strengthening and lengthening. Always want to be safe, especially when we're opening through the hamstrings. Hands to prayer if you'd like. Focus on your breath. One more breath right here. Inhale. Exhale, wide leg forward fold. Just a transition to come out safely. Bring your hands on your hips. Bend your legs. Inhale, rise up. Tee out your arms. Exhale, warrior two to your left. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, standing L, get long. Exhale, Shiva squat, get strong. You've got this, inhale, standing L. Exhale, seated twist, all the way down. Left leg should be on top now, bend underneath with your right or extend your right leg out straight, that's fine. Hug your knee in with your right arm. Push your left outer hip towards the mat so you feel that stretch through your outer left hip. Place your left hand behind you or grab onto your foot for seated dancing Shiva. Draw your shoulder blades together, broaden through your collarbones, and lengthen up through the crown of your head. Place your gaze where it feels best. Pull your belly in and up. One more breath in. Exhale, counter stretch over to the right. Just a little twist action. Nice work. And then maybe back in bow pose. I know you're excited to get back into it, so let's do it. Cross your left ankle over your right. Hands behind you or out in front of you. It's lower. For two, lift up. For two, lower. For two, lift. So strong. You've got this. Breathe in. Yes, breathe out. Long side. Breathe in. Exhale, two more times, lower, so strong, squeeze and click your heels together, inhale, last one, exhale, hold here, hold here for eight, seven, long spine, six, five, you've got this, four, three, on your back, in two, and one, unravel your leg, woo, lower down, take a full body stretch, just come out of hip flexion, and then let's do some belly up core, we'll stay in the flow right away. Cross your right ankle over your left thigh. Place your hands behind your head, and it's just a basic crunch. Straight up, big lift, and lower, lift, and lower. Exhale, exhale, keep going. You're welcome to stay like this, or bring your left leg up to reverse tabletop. Flex your toes, and as you press your right knee away from you, feel your outer right hip. Open up, lift, Lower, lift, four more here, four, you've got this, three, half happy baby twist, two, you're like, what is that? Oh, demonstrate, one, it's twist, center, twist right, center, good, exhale, keep going, you can customize this by lowering your left leg all the way down, even bending your left knee, or drawing your right knee into your shoulder, do what feels best, stay in the flow of your breath, eight, Yes, seven, stay in it, I'm feeling it too. Five, four more strong ones, four, three, yes you can, last two, and one, remind me of Brian Clark, he always reminds us, yes we can. Woo, let's balance it out, other side, cross your left ankle over your right, lace your hands behind your head, let go, lift, lower, lift, there, I did these for you, because you said that you like these. Exhale, inhale, you too, Lisa. Keep breathing. Bring your leg up to reverse tabletop is also an option. You can move into open mouth exhalations to activate your core, release a little bit of heat. Final four, three, stay in it, two, and one. Half happy baby twist, it's twist. Center, twist, center. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Find those accommodations, variations that feel best in your body. And although the music has shifted, let's stay in the flow, all of us together. Final eight, yes, seven, stay with me. Six, yes, five, four more, that's it. Four, three, full body stretch in two,
Final one and release. Hug your knees in. Ah, extend your legs and arms in opposite directions. Press through your toes and your fingers. For that nice full body stretch. And then bring your knees into your chest. Roll up to a seat. Gonna take one more reverse tabletop and a variation of staff pose. So if you're gonna practice with me over the next few weeks, we're working into a pose called eight angle pose. Right now we're just kind of like setting the table, if you will, on some strength builders. So ground your palms down, roll your shoulders onto your back, and then inhale, lift your hips up, reverse tabletop. Good. Press your feet down, pull them in, and then just bring your gaze wherever it's comfortable. I personally like to keep my gaze forward. If it feels okay, you can bring your gaze up or even allow your head to fall back if that feels comfortable on your cervical spine. Breathe in. And then with your exhale, draw your hips all the way back, scoot your heels back, and then press and dome through your spine. Now I can't see you, but I trust that you're gonna try this on, right? For four, you can do it. Lift up, come on, three, hips back. Last two, come on. And lower down on one, shake it out. Cross your ankles, plant your palms. Let's go downward facing dog. I'll, take you, I'll give you a couple of extra breaths. Check in on everybody. Nice work, team. Yeah, Lindsay. I'll write it out for you. I'll send it to you. Nice work, everybody. All right. <clears throat> Once you're in downward facing dog, come back. Renee, I love you. Come back to your Somavriti Pranayama. Full breath in through your nose. Keep your lips sealed and breathe out through your nose. Come back into your flow. Come back into your gratitude of what those of you may have shared at the beginning of our class. Love you, Marielle, you're beautiful. Amber, thank you. Joel, thank you. What keeps you in the state of flow? Can you hold on to that along with your breath? Let everything else go for this asana practice right here, right now. Down dog. Danny, I love you too. <clears throat> Together, breathe in, look forward. Exhale, top of the mat, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Now bend your legs, inhale, chair pose. Exhale, eagle on your left. So left arm under, or give yourself a hug. Left leg up and over. You can use your toes as a kickstand. You can even keep just chair legs today if that feels better. Or full nine. Pull your left hip crease back, draw your elbows up in line with your shoulders, and then pull the crown of your head up towards the ceiling of your house. Breathe well, squeeze everything into your midline. So find the contraction, so when you release, it's back into the flow. Focus in front of you, soften the skin of your brow. Keep your arms bound, inhale, single leg mountain pose. Exhale, warrior one legs. Take a step back with your left leg. Adjust your feet, do you? Pull your right hip back. And then inhale, lift your elbows. Breathe here. Draw your elbows away from your heart and then elongate all four sides of your neck. Draw your front hip points up because you're already in a little bit of a back bend. So activate your lower abs. Breathe in once more. Exhale, eagle arm, humble warrior. Come on in. Let the crown of your head fall heavy. Draw your right hip back and actively press to your left foot. Doesn't matter if it touches all the way down onto your mat. And then unravel your arms. Hook your right shoulder underneath your right leg as much as you can. Tend your right fingertips out to the side of you. Left hand, grab your right foot. You're like, what's going on? Yes, you got it. And then lift your hips just enough so you feel sensation literally all the way down to a cellular level, right? And breathe into whatever you're feeling. Find fluidity with your breath. You can do it. One more inhale. Squeeze your right inner thigh towards your right shoulder to find that strength and stability from within. And then release as wide-legged forward fold. Woo! Shake out your hips. The crown of your head fall heavy. And then in your wide-legged forward fold, get creative. Be in your own flow here for just about maybe three to five breaths. Oftentimes we're in the classroom, I might break down a couple of arm balances today. It's just be you. 
Find the flow. Hi, thanks for joining. Take just about one to two more breaths in your wide leg forward fold. If you've taken one side, move to the other side. And then we'll all meet back in Prasarita, wide leg forward fold. Place your hands on your hips, bend your knees, inhale, rise up to stand. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse triangle. Ooh yeah, feels good. Exhale, low lunge. Now just breathe in, think half lift your spine, and then exhale, have a seat into seated figure four. So cross your right ankle over your left leg, and then sit up nice and tall. Flex your toes. I want to just start with a little bit of a side to side action here. Now, you're welcome to stay here. This is a really great stretch to open through your hips, low back. Or we'll move into elephant pose. And this is a precursor of where we're going next week into eight angle pose. It's a lot of strength building first. Backpack, or actually we're gonna do cradle the baby first. So bring the ninth edge of your foot into the elbow crease. And then extend your left leg out. Don't worry about your spine being perfectly long and flat because our hip is already in flexion. Thank you, Heidi, for that anatomy pointer. If you're still on with me. And then just find some length just with your breath. You can rock your leg side to side. If you'd like to move on, back half your right leg up and over, sort of like we did from that warrior one stance that we were in, standing just a couple of minutes ago. And you may want to just work here, back half. Eventually, your leg gets all the way on your shoulder. I'm not there just yet, but I'm still working on it. And then click your leg onto your arm, wherever you're at. And I'm trusting you're trying this on with me. At least one variation or figure four, okay? And then bring your palms down. You have to squeeze into the midline or boom, your leg's gonna fall. So squeeze everything in, engage your inner thighs, hamstring curl your heel down onto your leg, arm. And then bring your left palm, so your palms are framing your left leg, just like we did after the second set of belly up core. Press your hips back and up. So you have to slide your hips back and up, drag your heel back, and then broaden your collarbone, squeeze everything into the midline. You've got this, lift, lift, lift. Woo, lower down. Baddha Konasana, let's all take a moment to breathe. Bring the soles of your feet together, just round over your legs, shake out your head. You do whatever feels good, you can rock a little bit side to side. Chelsea, if you're still on, you probably went into eight angle and into hurdlers and jump back, so I hope you did that one. Love you. And then come all the way up to a seat. Down dog team, let's do it. Cross your ankles, plant your palms. Aho uka, shwanasana, down dog, full breath in. Woo, let it go, exhale. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, forward fold, top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, keep the length. Exhale, fold and stretch, you burn it. Bend your legs, inhale, chair pose, oops, katasana. Exhale, now right arm on your left, eagle on your right side. So draw your elbows skyward, draw your hip creases back a little bit, and then when you're ready, find your knees in front of you, drishti, we call that in yoga. That'll help you balance. And then once you've found your posture, whatever it looks like, celebrate how it feels, celebrate the flow of your breath, moving in and out. Your heart's probably racing a little bit. Can you smooth it out and come back to Soma Vritti Pranayama? Even breath in. Slow, even breath out. Lengthen through the crown of your head. Squeeze everything into yourself. Maintain your bound arms, unravel, inhale, single leg mountain. Exhale, warrior one, leg frame. Adjust your feet, pull your left hip back. Lengthen your front hip points up, so I'll exaggerate rather than here. Just find some length. Curl your tailbone slightly back on the diagonal. And then breathe in, lift your heart and your elbows high. Our arms are an extension of our heart. Find fluidity with your breath from who you are right here, right now. Let everything else go. Together, inhale. Exhale, eagle arm, humble warrior. All the way down. Stay with me. This is the home.
home stretch, everyone. You can do this, stay with me. Pull your left hip back and then squeeze your left leg like your left leg has like Velcro on it onto your shoulder and it's not going anywhere. Pull it in and then unravel your arms. Tense your left, bring your left shoulder as much as you can underneath your left leg. I'm kind of going a little bit of a diagonal here. And then bring your left arm out. <clears throat> Spider finger or like cupcake hand. Somebody uses that, I like that. And then right hand onto your left foot. And then just work to stretch your left leg just a little bit straight. It's not, I mean, if you can fully straighten it, wow, that's amazing. But don't worry if it's all the way straight. Just feel the squeeze in and then the strength. One more breath. Woo, let's meet in wide-legged forward fold, everyone. Nice work. Shake it out. Again, you have about three to five breaths to just do whatever you need to do. Take a little sway. I love to kind of just do a few, a few lateral lunges. I know many students just love a little extra twist side to side. So do you. Come back to your breathing. We're almost down onto our mat. You're doing a phenomenal job. Nice work, everyone. Love you, babe. My sister is on. She practices at Core Power in Santa Barbara. Hi, Morris. All right, everyone, come to Wide Legged Forward Fold. Bring your hands onto your hips. Lengthen your spine. Inhale, rise up. <clears throat> Exhale, Warrior Two. Inhale, reverse triangle. Woo. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, get long. And then exhale, seated figure four, other side. So ground your right foot onto your mat. Cross your left now, ankle over your right thigh. Place your palms behind you. I love to start this way, just to just feel that stretch through the left hip. It also stabilizes your back. You can find a little bit of movement. And again, stay here if you'd like. If you'd like to add on, cradle the baby, extend for this variation today. If it's accessible, work your right leg straight. And then pull the ninth inch of your left foot into the crook of your elbow. And then just find a little bit more movement. It can be subtle, it doesn't need to be big. You'll feel it. Keep breathing well. And then backpack, left leg up and over. Click your left heel like a hamstring curl onto your arm. And you can stay here too, this is great. Or from here, elephant pose, bring your palms to frame your right leg. Squeeze everything in. Again, if you get real kind of relaxed with the leg, it's gonna slip off. So get nice and strong. I'm gonna trust you're gonna try this with me. Press your palms down and then draw your hips. Back and up, so you have to slide back like you're on a towel. Slide back, press into your palms. You can actually round your spine for this variation and then squeeze everything in. You've got four, three, lift, lift. You've got to come on, lift two. Ooh, one, lower down. You made it, nice work. Shake it out. And let's balance, and as Teresa, one of my mentors and dear friends, Let's put ourselves back together, shall we? So we're gonna start with Johnny Shirshasana. Extend your left leg out. Actually, do right leg first. Bend your left knee. Just a little bit of a diagonal. So it needs to be way out to the side. And then for today, bring your right hand to the inside or outside of your right leg, or even on top. And we'll take a side body stretch. And you can even move into that lat pull like we did at the beginning. It feels so nice to release into tension through your QLs, your lats in the side of your body, or just hold this stretch. Root your sit bones down, dial your heart up, up towards the sky. And then release down, inhale, baby wild thing, lift your hips up, and then rainbow your right arm back. Pull and activate your lower abdominals to find stability through your lumbar spine, inhale, and then exhale, lower down. Shake it out, other side. Bend your right knee. Let's find Janusha Shasana variation. 
separate leg stretching. Left hand inside, topper outside. Bring your right arm up and over. Just let this feel good. And then you can move in and out of that lat pull a couple of times. I find if I just kind of come in and out of range of motion, I stay in the flow. Stay in the flow of the breath. Being present. And then slowly rise up. Inhale, maybe wild thing. Focus on this heart opening back bend. Breathe well. Pull your belly in and up. Lift one more time. Breathe in. And exhale, lower down. Really nice, everyone. Extend your legs out. Quick set of seated forward fold. Roll your inner thighs slightly down. Bend your knees. And then start to just round, round, round over your legs. Take your time. I love to bend my knees and grab the back of the thighs Ooh, all the way down. Let's take one more back bend, everybody. Bridge pose, set to Bandha, Sarabhangasana. Bring your feet hip distance, arms to your sides. Inhale, lift your hips up, bridge. You're welcome to keep your palms, arms long, or lace your hands underneath you. Lift your sternum up towards the sky. And just drag your heels slightly back towards your fingers so you feel the back line of your body strengthen. Activate your lower abs, see how that feels. And then lift up a little higher. And you come back to Soma Vritti Pranayama, even breath in and even breath out. And you catch yourself not in the state of flow, you just come back to flowing with your breath, calming your mind and your nervous system, and trusting. Slowly lower down. Hug your knees into your heart. One more minute to choose a pose that your body needs right now before we come into Shavasana, final rest pose. So if you'd like, you can take happy baby. I'll demonstrate that. If you'd like to take a supine twist, I'll cue you when it's halfway over. So starting now, it's a nice opportunity, especially for a home practice, to of course have a guide. And as we know, we are a best guide. So here at the very end of your practice, what's going to best support you remaining in the flow all the way through the end of your practice? So choose a posture or shape. Perhaps it's just a few extra minutes rest. I'll mind the time. 15 more seconds on the first side. If you've taken a double-sided pose, switch sides. About 30 seconds, maybe a bit more. Nice work today, everyone. Whichever posture you're in. Love you, Robert. Thanks for joining. Come back to center and bring your knees into your chest. Give yourself a big hug of gratitude. If it's a comfortable, draw your forehead up into your knees. Thanks, Anissa. So glad you're able to join. 
Take one final breath, everybody. And exhale, sweet, sweet Shavasana, final rest pose. I'll mind the time, I promise. It's two minutes, and then we'll flow into a little minute meditation. But for now, just allow yourself to relax. Bring your arms and legs long. Allow your palms to face the sky. I encourage you to close your eyes. And let go of any control of your breath. Just allow it to move effortlessly in and out of your body. yourself to be in a full state of flow and stillness sometimes that's the most challenging time in the practice know that you're worth it you've earned it so take this final minute and a half to just be with your breath Before you begin finding any movement, be in the flow of three more slow breaths. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Again, deep breath in. Deep breath out. One more before you find movement. Inhale. And exhale. Just find some subtle movement throughout your body, through your fingers and toes. Rock your head side to side. <clears throat> when it feels right, just find a full body stretch. Reach your arms and legs in opposition. your knees back into your beautiful heart deep compassion roll on to either side of your mat just use your bottom arm as a pillow and give yourself a moment love you Kimiko and then press up to a comfortable seat And then if it's comfortable, you can bring your hands directly on your heart into prayer or just simply bring them down onto your legs. Sit up tall and proud for your efforts, for your choice to make it on your mat this Saturday afternoon. I'm so grateful. Welcome to close your eyes and just come back into that inquiry of what brings you into the state of flow? And how can this 60 minute asana practice be a reminder that we always have our breath, our mat, and each other 
even through this opportunity to practice on live stream, to be in the flow together. And bow your chin to your heart. Namaste. Thank you so much everyone for joining. We're gonna flow right into just a small meditation just to reground and love for you to stay and join me. Um, and it's really just continuing the theme of being in the state of flow. So if you'd like to, you're welcome to lie back down on your mat, swing your legs up the wall if you'd like. Love you, Cherie, thank you. Thank you, Amber, Sarah, everybody. Mm, Min Sung, thank you. And just come to a place that you feel comfortable and you're able to find some stillness. This will just be about a five minute meditation. And if you're newer to meditation or it's not something that you're comfortable with or practice consistently, um, I'm with you. Um, something that I love the movement and the flow and the, the breathing and the sweating and being still and sitting is, is more of a, a challenge and a practice. So, so let's lean in to that state of flow together just for a few minutes together. So wherever you're at, close your eyes and we'll come back to that concept of soma vritti pranayama, which is even, it's simply just breathing in and out and finding equal breath in and out. So your own personal count of perhaps start with just three counts. Inhale for three, two, one. Exhale for three, two, one. Inhale for three, two, one. Exhale for three, two, one. Keep going. And for you, it might be lengthening to four, five, perhaps six. See if you can match your breath in and your exhalations. And as you find that rhythm and pace to your own personalized breath, weave in the mantra as you breathe in. I choose to be in the flow. And as you breathe out, and then let go. Inhale, I choose to be in the flow. Exhale, and let go. I will mind the time, just about four minutes. My invitation to all of you is see how you can allow yourself to find a state of flow just by being still and focusing fully and wholeheartedly on your breath, knowing it's a beautiful tool we have always for us. And when we bring intention, whether it's a mantra or just presence, it truly is the gift that can keep us in the state of flow, even when it's difficult. Keep breathing. choose to be in the flow, exhale and let go.
Take two more rounds of your own unique breath, Soma Vritti Pranayama. Wherever you're at, you're welcome to stay exactly where you're at and bring your hands once again to prayer or just one on top of the other of your heart or just down onto your legs, even down onto the earth. And as we flow through the rest of this weekend, may this practice just be just that reminder we can choose to be in the state of flow and let everything go, even if it's just for one hour, one breath, one minute at a time. Team, thank you so much for joining me. So many familiar names, friends and family, and unfamiliar names, thank you very much. Again, my name is Beth. I'm here on Saturdays at 12 noon. Um, I'll keep the chat function open for maybe another minute or two. And one of my dear soul sister friends, Stephanie Solovey, who lives on the East Coast, is teaching a phenomenal body weight sculpt. Um, she's one of my favorite humans and teachers. So if you want to join us again tonight at 5 o'clock Pacific Time, 6 o'clock Mountain Time, and 8 o'clock on the East Coast, we'd love for you to join us. And have a beautiful weekend. Thank you. Namaste. Thank you, Alicia. Thank you, Robert. Thanks, Renee. London, thanks for being there to support. Ryan, love you, thank you. Gracie, I miss you. Thank you, sweet Grace. I promise when I go back to Denver, you're the first human I will come knocking on your door. Amy Co, thank you. Amanda. I promise. Paige, thank you for joining. Miss you too. Thanks, Linz. John, I love you so much. Tell Jane that we say hello and we love her. Thank you, Nicole. Thanks for all of your support. <laughs> Love you, Noel. Everyone have a beautiful weekend. Namaste, thank you so much. <laughs>